What's up guys, if you really enjoy my videos and channel and want to find out how to support them as best as you can, please go to the Machinima Respawn Army app on Facebook, go to Find Gamers, search Metis TV, and then please bump my videos. Thanks a lot guys, really appreciate it. What's up guys, Metis here again with another Modern Warfare 3 gameplay. It's not really going to be commentary as such, because as usual, I'm a firm believer that you can see basically what's going on, so I don't need to be walking you through uh, what I'm doing. The basics are this is the MP7 silenced, I'm on village domination, and the rest is kind of obvious, you can just see what's going on. The reason I'm making this video actually is pretty simple, um, I am going back to England. Uh, for about two or three months, that's the plan. Basically, the immigration process in Finland is extremely excruciatingly slow, so I pretty much have nothing that I can do. I need to go back to England. Uh, I am an EU citizen, so I was allowed to stay here for like six months, but I don't want to ruin any chances of being able to move over here full time. So, back to England for Christmas and uh, until about February or so. Now, there is a downside to that. There's also a downside to my aim because it's fucking awful. But uh, yeah, I haven't played the game for about five days until this game, so you're going to see me gradually over time losing some of that rust and crappiness. Um, and I think I've finished this one quite decent. I start really, really bad, as you can see at the moment. But I do finish quite strong. Um, but yeah, back to the point that I was trying to make before. Uh, the downside is that I could very well be without an, a PC capable of recording and rendering videos for quite some time. Now, I know that's going to be a disappointment to some of you, and it's a disappointment for me as well because I love making videos. Uh, but there's very little I can do. My, the PC that I run off here in Finland is an, a massive improvement over the one I have in England. The one I have in England is like five years old. It can only just run Call of Duty 4 without having uh, an explosion. So Modern Warfare 2 and frapsing slash rendering is going to be a fairly tall task. So fingers crossed it's going to be able to record to a decent-ish level. Um, if not, I am thinking about splitting this PC into parts and taking it with me in my suitcase. Obviously the downside of that is if you lose your luggage or if there's a particularly retarded bags person then it, my PC could break. So it's it's definitely a risk. Um, I'm gonna have a, a good strong think about this but uh, yeah if I do randomly disappear for about a few weeks or maybe even a month it's not because I've stopped making videos or because I've like uh, betrayed or abandoned you or anything it's just purely down to the fact that I don't have a PC capable of making videos anymore. So fingers crossed. Um, I'll try and update you if I can. I, I do run a Facebook, guys. So if you want to go on Facebook and like it and follow me, it's www.facebook.com forward slash metastv. Um, I do update that very often. So obviously if I do find out I can't make videos, I'll tell you there. Um, but yeah, it's, it's kind of disappointing, guys. But it's one of those things. It, that's life for you. I could maybe save up and get a good PC while I'm over in England, but it's not going to happen for a while. Obviously, it is the Christmas period, and everyone's practically skint around this time of year. They don't have too much money to play around with. The other reason I made this video uh, was also because I am a very, very nervous flyer. Now, if anyone shouldn't be nervous with flying, it should probably be me. I mean, I grew up, my dad was in the military, he was in the Royal Air Force. So I moved around a lot from base to base, like different countries pretty much every other month. So I, f I flew by the time I was 15, I, I don't even know how many times, like probably 50 to 100 flights, easily. So if there's anyone <laughs> that shouldn't be scared of flying, it's probably me, but I have a massive fear and a massive phobia of flying. Uh, I'm due to depart on the 19th of December, and I'm already getting like the anxious, nervous feeling in my stomach. So um, I, I am genuinely worried about flying, and it's two flights in one day as well, because um, Helsinki to Newcastle, and obviously I'm from Newcastle, originally in England, Helsinki to Newcastle doesn't have a direct flight, so you have to stop off in Heathrow first, and then you have to fly from Heathrow to Newcastle, which is a massive pain in the fucking ass for me, <laughs> because I hate flying. And it also adds like another three hours to my journey, so it's a nightmare, to say the least. So, really, I have a question for you guys. If any of you used to be nervous flyers, or you still are, what did you use, or what do you use actively to cope with flying? Because I've tried so many things, and I'm still just as scared of flying as I ever was. So, if you have any kind of tips or tricks that you've picked up over the years of flying, and by the way, this is so fucking frustrating, changing weapons and getting shut down in the back. 
but yeah, if you have any kind of tips or tricks on flying, um, then I would be forever in your debt if you could pass them on. Obviously, if you could help me, it's massive. Uh, obviously, l moving between Finland and England a lot is, is horrible if you're scared of flying because I'm practically, you know, every few months I have to fly. And it's it does become a real a real problem for me. I, I won't lie, I'm, I'm very, very scared of flying. I know people are going to be like, man up, you know, and grow some balls and stuff, but hey, I, I can't help it. I'm not scared of anything else in the world apart from flying. Like, not spiders or sharks or snakes, no problems, but you, you give me a fucking plane, a big metallic phallus-like object that can somehow fly like 40,000 feet in the air. I don't know if it's still like 40,000 feet, but you know, whatever the top altitude is, and I'm just like, how the fuck can that stay in the air? How can that stay in the air? <laughs> So, yeah. Uh, another point to make as well, guys, I know a lot of you have been wondering whether Justine and like Amnesia stuff has gone. Um, basically, Justine is going to be a real bitch um, to record because you can't save that game. Maybe there's a tip or trick that I'm missing, but it, there is no save option. And it even says at the very beginning that if you die, you have to restart. There is no kind of like resurrection. At a previous door, or there is no like save points. It's if you die, you have to start from the beginning again. I don't mind that so much, but obviously, when I'm rendering and recording and such, it takes a whole lot of mem uh, memory and a whole lot of room on my hard disk. So if I record for say three hours in a row, it's gonna it's gonna basically max out my hard disk if it's empty. It's a real pain in the ass. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to actually record Justine from start till finish in one go without needing to come out, render, delete the kind of files that I'd used to render, then start again. And can I really be asked to be halfway through a game, then play the first half again to render? Not really. Um, so I'm going to have a, a look into that again. It's not going to happen until probably late December, early January, if I'm lucky. Um, but yeah, that's just a quick answer to, to a question a lot of you have been asking me. Uh, again, it's flattering that you guys really want me to play Amnesia and watch it and you enjoy it, that's great. But obviously um, it's, it's quite frustrating because I'm in a situation at the moment where I can't really commit to anything like that. You know, I've got four days until I go back to England. It takes probably half a day to upload one video of, say, 10 to 15 minutes. So, it, yeah, it's quite difficult, guys. Um, anyone that's made videos like in more than 10 minutes will understand where I'm coming from in that. So yeah, uh, that's something else to watch out for. I do plan on releasing Justine one day though, it's, it's going to happen. You know, it is going to happen and the League of Legends commentary that I promised you is going to happen. It's just that there's so much stuff to do and there's so little time to do it and you know, um, I have other things as well that I have to do apart from making uh, videos guys, so I hope you understand. Um, but yeah, I think I've talked about quite a lot of shit in this and not too much about the game. I'll finish on a, a game kind of focused aspect. And that's, I do not understand the attraction of the UMP in this game. Now I understand in Modern Warfare 1, no sorry, Modern Warfare 2, this is Modern Warfare 3, I'm, I'm a retard. I understand the attraction in Modern Warfare 2 because the gun had very little kind of um, recoil. I know it doesn't have too much recoil in this game either, but it was also very powerful in Modern Warfare 2. I like the gun in Modern Warfare 2, but in this game it just seems like a bit meh. I prefer the MP7. By far, I prefer the MP7. In fact, to be honest, my MP7 is probably my favourite gun in the entire game. Uh, the UMP doesn't really work for me. Uh, I got a few kills at the end, but that was luck. You can see my screen shaking. Um, but yeah, that's going to pretty much conclude this commentary. 39 kills, 10 assists, 8 deaths, nothing special. But just something I wanted to slap in the background while I was talking to you. And uh, as I say, guys, fingers crossed that I will be able to continue making videos um, soon. If not, I'll update on my Facebook. Um, and if I don't see you before Christmas, guys, have a great day with your family and loved ones. You know, it's a, it's a brilliant time of year, probably my favourite time of the year. So hopefully you'll have a really good one. And uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, I don't have a horrific plane crash. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what a way to end this video. Anyway, peace, guys, and uh, hopefully see you soon.